In this simple screencast, we're going to look at training a simple neural network to solve the MNIST um, digit recognition problem. So first, we have um, a three-layer neural network completely coded by hand using the, the NumPy library, Python NumPy library. So we're going over this in class right now, and we'll go through it line by line. But basically, this is the code to train the, to train the neural network. We go forward through the network, calculate all the inputs and outputs, and then we use the back propagation to update the matrix WHO and the matrix WIH. All right, so this program is um, from Tariq Rashid. You can find it online, and he has an excellent book, Make Your Own Net Neural Network Using Python. <clears throat> All right, so we're running this, and we're running it with five epics. That means we're going through the 60,000 um, records training set five times. And as you can see, I have this running already. It looks like it's almost done. And if you want to get a sense of how fast it goes, it's not very fast at all. Now to see what's what's running here, so I'm running this on my on my Linux machine, and it's as you can see, it's an it's an eight core machine with sixteen threads, and as you can see, it's utilizing exactly eight cores. It's not trying to um, a hyper thread doesn't seem to work out too well for multiplying big matrices together so the numpy library automatically multiplies these big matrices in um, in parallel here all right so as you can get a sense for the speed so far it's been using 54 minutes of CPU time so if you divide that by 8, it looks like it's taking about 7 minutes. So it's been 7 minutes here. This command, by the way, is called HTOP. It shows you your CPUs, what's running, um, your memory. So as you can see, the memory is not bad. Um, it's using very little memory, about 1% of the 16 gigabytes here. And by the way, this is a um, this is running at about four gigahertz, somewhere around around that range. Okay, now let's take a look at the next program. So this is using TensorFlow. So my, my machine, which is a Ryzen 2 um, 8 core processor, has a NVIDIA 1070 graphics card. It's not that expensive, it's about $300. And we're going to solve the same problem with, five, with a hidden layer of 500. Um, 500 nodes. I think I even changed it to a thousand. But basically this is the whole code. So you import this library, make sure the data is um, you know is rescaled. We'll go over this in class too. And to set up the neural network it's 
basically these these three lines and these two lines at the end. Then we compile the neural network, turn it into a, a machine in some sense, and and then we um, we run it, we fit it. So this is this is will this will optimize and um, learn the weights. All right. So it looks like this finished here. We got a 97.49 percent accuracy. All right, so this was the by hand neural network. All right. So let's let's try a TensorFlow. All right. So it's called Keras flat. And watch how fast it trains on the GPU. So it loaded the GPU right here. Now this is an it's going through an epoch in four seconds. So this is going to go through 10 epochs. And as you can see, the accuracy on the training set, which isn't so crucial, isn't so uh, impartial, is, is increasing pretty fast. It's, it's learning from the training set. In a sense, it could start to overfit if you did this too much. All right, it's done training, and the accuracy, 98.05. But now that we have the power of this GPU, we can change things. So Emacs, Keras flat. All right, so let's let's try more nodes. So that was a thousand. So let's try ten thousand nodes. So if you want to see how many parameters we're training, this got pretty big. Here's our here's our neural network. It's got eight million parameters. So now you see why you really need a GPU. It took twelve seconds to train an epic. It went through the entire sixty thousand samples in only twelve seconds on the, on the GPU because it's running in a massively parallel. There's about 1,500 cores on a GPU. They're called CUDA cores. All right, and while this is running, oh, while this is running, we can try another model. So, this was the simple model that we did. We can comment that out and try a bit more of a complex model. All right, so when this is done, we can run that one. Let's see how this is doing here. Almost done. This is really amazing that you can train 8 million nodes so fast. All right, once again, here's our here's a representation of our neural network. It doesn't have the input, but the input is the 28 by 28. All right, 98.43, so it didn't seem to help us much. Okay, let's try that the new, more complicated model. So this is what it looks like now, see? It's got a lot more layers, uh, but only has 42,000 parameters. So um, it's not that big. And as you can see, it's training pretty quickly. You want to see what the GPU, what the CPU looks like. So
So this is what it's doing. Looks like it's only using about two cores. Oh, but it looks like it finished. 96.62, so not so great, but it didn't have many parameters. You can, you can change that. Let's see. We can make this one a lot bigger. Let's make this one 500. And let's make this one 100. See, it's sort of like engineering. I mean, that's what it really is. The theory isn't so well developed yet. All right, this is taking about five seconds in Epic. What? And the next one, while this is running, is the convolutional neural network. This is much more powerful, and it says it can get a 99.25% accuracy after 12 Epics. So let's give that a try. Convolutional neural network, is more like the way that humans see. It keeps the input in a square matrix and it looks for relational factors, geometric factors. All right, so that'll be the basic Keras CNN, a convolutional neural network. All right, this one looks like it finished. Looks like it got a little better at 97.9. So let's look at the basic Keras uh, convolutional neural network. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger to train. We didn't get a nice representation of it, so let's see if we can put that in. Let's see. We want the model summary, right? Print model summary. Summary's in. All right, this finished, and as you can see, 99.18 accuracy. And in fact, why don't we put in a few more epics? Let's do 20 epics here. So here's our model. It's got a convolutional 26 by 26 by 32, 320 parameters. Then the next layer, 24 by 24 by 64, 18,496 parameters. Then this one is a max pooling. It sort of combines and makes things smaller. See, now it outputs to 12 by 12 by 64. It's got a little smaller. And this one drops out. It randomly drops out certain pixels so that we don't overfit. Flattens it. Now we have another layer with trainable parameters. Uh, looks like about a million. And that's the dense layer. That means every node is connected to every possible node. Another dropout. And then finally, we... Um, go to our dense layer, to the, to the output. 
It's about a million parameters. All right, see how things are going here? Ninety-nine point thirty-one. Well, that's about what we expected, right? Ninety-nine point two five. So that's very good. Um, we could even do better, but that's probably good enough for us for today.